Hello everyone, it's Brian, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, You Only Live Once, Hardcore Edition, the game where we never ever heal, and look where we are, we're back in our hotel room. Now with 55 of 475 hit points left, we have actually completed all of the DLC. And notice how it went up from 455 to 475 this time because at the end of the last DLC, at the end of Lonesome Road, I had forgotten it actually let me gain another point of endurance or, you know, any point of my special. And I chose endurance, and that actually gave me 20 more hit points, uh, which I'm sure will be the last time we ever see our hit points increase. But we have now completed all all of the DLC and we are back here in the real New Vegas realm and we are sorting through all of our outfits and armors and things and figuring out what we're going to carry around and which things are worth kind of putting in the inventory noticing i have you know too much weight you know even even right now but that's because we are getting ready for the you know the final set of events is going to start happening now but before we can finish this we have to do we've got a couple more things on the list and the reason there there's actually as many as three reasons why I waited until after the DLC to do this final battle stuff, or just to, to, to start from here. And one, of course, is that uh, New Vegas doesn't let you actually, formally speaking, continue the game after you do the final battle. So I'd have had to resort to a, a more artificial reloading from a save and computing any damage and whatever thing, which, you know, is fine, but... I also liked the idea of the, it gave me sort of a uh, all or nothing desperation about doing the <laughs> getting the DLC done. But the third reason is actually the most important reason. Without the third reason, the first two reasons might have not even applied. And that is that as soon as I do the next thing on our list, which is dealing with Mr. House, it is going to render the Legion permanently my enemy and they are going to start sending lethal legion death squads after me and boy oh boy i want to i wanted to minimize the amount of time that that can happen in the world because if they find me if they get a hold of me you know they they then then they will rip me up that that'll be the end so we'll perhaps have at least gotten this other stuff done Meanwhile, I'm choosing which, uh, you know, got my, my suits of armor, as it were, set up. I'm going to go with uh, the Sierra Madre armor as my light traveling clothes, and I've still got the power armor. And we are going through all the things in the hotel room and just making sure we got the stuff. Now, we have to do two things before we really get to the final stuff. One is we have to deal with Mr. House. And remember, remember, I have decided I'm going to do the yes man, uh, the I, the courier, control everything in New Vegas ending. Because I've never actually done that before myself personally. We've got to do that. But once we've done a certain amount of dealing with Mr. House, we actually have to go and very carefully, as the Legion death squads hunt us, do Arcade Ganon's personal personal quest. Hey there. So those are our main things to do, but meanwhile, we do have a certain amount of, uh, you know, 50-whatever explosive ammo we need to get. Uh, walk back slightly overburdened to our area. Maybe drop some stuff. Uh, load up on machine gun ammo. Just have a lot of stuff. I don't think I'm going to need the refinite, refinite bed sleeping thing. Um, let's see. Yes, that's good. Things. that. Is there really a lot more radiation resistance in here? Just trying to get my final my final thing set up. 
I mean, I love U.S. Army Army General's armor uh, or outfit or whatever that's called. I mean, some of this stuff is great. I just like, do I need it in my actual inventory? <laughs> do I need it in my actual inventory? At this point, at this point in things. All right, let's see. So, should we make a round of go into our stores, our favorite stores? You know, there's one, there's one more thing. So we're actually going up there. We're going to go up there and kill Mr. House, and I saved a very special item for him. Nefi's golf driver <laughs> because there's a special little challenge to kill Mr. House with Nefi's driver Nefi's golf driver alright so now here we go let us go into New Vegas nobody bad here thank you for visiting New Vegas Yes, we've been visiting New Vegas for 57 episodes now, and I don't think there's going to be more than 58 episodes of this. We are really, really in the home stretch. Okay, so we actually want to go to the penthouse. There's the nice lady robot. The Lucky 30 is not open to the general public. Trespassers yes, trespassers will be, will be shot. That is an issue here. It does also remind me that somehow my subtitles are still on. We need to just turn them off. All right, this panel, once I open it, is going to make all these guys hostile so we are in full stealth boy mode so those guys can't see us we can come back and activate all the fun terminals sure what the security override per se does. It probably just makes me be able to go here. Maybe it makes those guys not attack me anymore. But I'm not sure. I'm just staying in Stealth Boy, and I am going up for a visit to Mr. House, who turns out to look a lot different. Alright, well, wear the U.S. Army combat armor. Just because it looks cool. We are going to give him a microbial infection. And Mr. House appears to have been in some kind of bizarre cryo storage. Not quite a brain in a vat, but sort of an old man with a vat. And we're going to let him say his last piece perhaps should we let him say his last piece why have, why have you done this if pers and he offers us anything may there be a uh, hell for you and we have one thing to say a man chooses <laughs> and a slave obeys and we get the special the special achievement. The house has gone bust, but that was their little tip of the hat to Bioshock there. And I wanted to get it because I love Bioshock. And uh, I, to the point that I'm thinking of maybe a full permadeath run through Bioshock might be the, might be the next uh, permadeath project I embark on. Searching. Confirm. All right, so now Mr. House is dead. Very, very dead. That 
means we can go tell Yes Man, who's actually still living up in what's his name's basement. All right, <laughs> he's still quietly decomposing. Oh, hi. And we will say, I'm ready to join Mr. you. And so now we have to run all the way over, back over, and install him in the Lucky 38. It's too bad I can't just, you know, install him, but that's how they wanted me to do it. They wanted me to have to run all the way back, so I'm running all the way back. So, up to the special thing, and apparently we go straight to cutscene, and now we are Hi. This is installing big. Yes Man. A very big moment. Here it goes. I'll just take that platinum chip off your hands. Thanks. Wish me luck. Alright. He's taking the platinum chip and he is installing himself. Wow. Mr. House. Wait. Mr. House had a. Alright, so he's going to make some, he's going to give me a demonstration of this fully operational Battlestar. Step closer to the demonstration area, please. Okay, so you're familiar with Securitrons by now, obviously. I mean, some of your best friends are Securitrons, right? <laughs> so he's going to show me all about Securitrons and his Securitron army and all this stuff and... Our left arm contains an X-25 gas That's all fine. Quite We've upgraded them to the <laughs> most like amazing fun. level of everything. So that's exciting. He's all powerful. We have this handy dandy 9mm submachine gun. Nice. And at the end of the conversation, I'll meet you back in the lair and we'll talk this through some more things. Interesting. Turns out that those are our secondary weapons. All this time, we've been running the Mark I operating system, which doesn't have drivers for our primary weapons. Imagine! Now watch this. I'm downloading the Mark II OS to all Securitrons on the network. It makes quite a difference. With the M235 missile launcher, we can engage ground and air targets. And a rapid-fire G-28 launcher system. It makes us deadly in close range engagements. Woo! Look at that! The OS upgrade also includes drivers for our onboard auto repair systems. Just try to hurt us now! All together, this software upgrade confers a 235% increase in combat effectiveness per unit. New Vegas finally has soldiers worthy of protecting it. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. You can come back up and see me or be on your way. I know you're a busy person. All right, Caesar's Legion is not so happy with us. And we're fa gaining some... The NCR is not going to work with us anymore. We failed some Caesar stuff. Failed Don't Tread on the Bear. That's why the NCR won't work on him. But they were our allies, so now we're just going to be wild child with them. And we're fine. But more important, we have failed Beware the Wrath of Caesar. And so I think they are now, you know, there are assassination squads you did a super coming toward us right now. So let's hear what, let's hear what our friend Yes Man has to say. So he's going to send us off to save. All right, we have to go plug a module into the power station, and we need to s optionally save President Kimball from assassination. But now, from now on, we've got all the bad people hunting for us, and that means we need to get, you know, we need to do those two things. We've got to install the, the thing in the power station. we got to... What's up? Um... Do Arcade Ganon's quest, and we've got to, to, to save something. President Kimball, all with the assassination Any squads after us. We're getting caught up in something important out here. Hell, I know I'm just along for the ride. So he has finally I, my reached his. Short, you know, we made friends with him earlier, but we weren't able to trigger this quest until now. 
Which is too bad. I think I would have rather structure fell apart. been able to do this stuff my mother beforehand. And, I some of the troopers from my father's old unit. The same and what we're going to have to do, it turns out, Arcade Ganon kind of my used to be a member of the Enclave, you know, the, the pre-war U.S. government remainders or whatever. Right. And so we have to go... Years. I know Put the old team game. back together. We got to go find his his old buddies and get them back together. And we've got to do that while not being assassinated by a Legion assassination squad. So that is our challenge for Auld Lang Syne. This is the name of this quest. And we need to hit the special spot. There's only certain places that Legion Assassination Squads will find us, but we have to go to some of those places. And so Novak is a place where they could find us. They probably haven't had time to walk over here yet. I don't think. I don't know for sure. But this is one of the places. And so we're going to come here, and we're going to talk to what's-her-name. The one that flies the airplane. She seems to be asleep. Daisy Whitman. Wake up, Daisy. Fine weather for flying. Yep, yeah, fine Don't weather for flying, and we're gonna need your piloting skills. I. Because it turns out you used to be in the Enclave, so somehow Arcade's supposed to, like, be Since my mother here, died, or... she ah, flew him okay. out. There have been some good men along the way. Being in the Enclave didn't mean much to her. As screwed up as it sounds, uh, so we have to get through a little conversation. Just want to make sure I don't somehow ruin this by a last-minute conversational problem. Okay, camp golf. Drink a little bit of lake water there. All right. Up here, he's like cannibal, cannibal Johnson or something like that. He hides in this little cave. I just don't want to get suddenly ambushed by something up here. It's kind of ambushy country. I got a lot of stealth boys, and if there's any sign of an ambush, you know, if I go into caution or something, then we're totally, totally going stealth boy. All right, Cannibal Johnson's cave. The next member of... The old Enclave team. Brim has we. Well, it's Arcade about stepped in a bear trap. <laughs> I've been at. Thought I. All right, putting the team back together. Oh, oh and in case Arcade forgot to meet at the it. bunker. Well, they if each I have one. Anyone who didn't belong in the Enclave. It would definitely be Johnson. They all have their own special day code day, word that you have to have. It's amazing. Open the, open the pod bay doors on the, on the conclave bunker. I if you... Enclave bunker. Conclave, enclave. Conclave. All right. Cannibal Johnson's done. This actually isn't a very hard quest, except for the, you know, it's really kind of a FedEx quest. You go around and go to the places. It's just the absolutely terrifying prospect of a legion uh it's the fact that i had to wait until there's legion death squads in the world and they're probably using like you know anti-material rifles and absolutely run ending sorts of weapons uh, would have had to do that all right so we got <sighs> orion marino and we're gathering the remnants. In a while, Arcade. We are gathering them. You haven't decided. Okay. Go to the bunker. Do I wouldn't thing. mind cutting down. Talk to the guy. Help the Legion defeat the NCR. What's up? Okay. So that is him. Does he Moreno took the fall of the Enclave hard. To him, he said... Hey, just be nice to him. Not 
sure if those responses matter. Uh, let's see who we got. We've got. I'm glad, mean son of a bitch is on our. You go right to him. Look at that, because you can go right inside a west no. west side no and Judah Krager. So he might have been the leader of the, of the whole thing. No, and you'll need my. His passphrase is Navarro. Come to the remnant reunion. Side. Okay. Judah Krieger is the glue. He was the glue. So see, we're just going and finding the people. And they're not too hard to find because they all have quest markers. We just don't want to get shot by a thing. And then in Jacob's town, the doctor. The doctor. We've already done the Jacobstown stuff. Is there something so else I can do? Talk to with Lily. But he actually turns out to also be a member of Doc the Henry team. Was a hard... So, Dr. Henry, he is Henry. And now we are ready to go to the Remnant's Bunker, which is actually not super far away from here. The question is, I guess I probably want to keep those Legion teams. We're, we're, you know, we're allowed to fast travel now, and I'm going to use full, full fast traveling powers, privileges, because uh, that's a NCR station, and so less likely to have Legion Hello. people. And I want to keep them guessing. You know, the more I can teleport around the map and not give them a long run where I'm just walking like this, <laughs> then the less likely they are to come over hill and totally, totally surprise me. At least have time to get, I want to evade them as much as possible, but if I run into one, I want to have time to get into Stealth Boy and get away. All right, the Remnant's Bunker. We are going to go in here. And they all do their passphrase. Dear old friends, remember Navarro is the passphrase. Down in the bunker. This whole bunker exists just to have us do this cutscene. Uh, although it does also give us an even better power armor. So the very, very, very last phase of everything, we're going to have slightly better power armor than we've had before. Prim has a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. <laughs> Prim has a new sheriff. It's a little bit a little bit uh, out of out of time frame there. Glad to see you made it here all right. Okay, let's see. I want you to help the NCR. Then that's the plan. We're going to have a problem with Moreno though. We are helping the NCR up to a point. Got only Basically, at this point, where you know there's the NCR and the Legion ending, and we're doing the more NCR-y version of the ending, I didn't come all the way except that so we're we slightly that. betraying them. Now, we have to talk Orion Moreno down, otherwise we'd have to fight him in his super this. powerful mm -hmm. suit, but we have Fine. a speech of 80, I'm so in. we but don't ex talk him down. Thanks for doing this. And there is Arcade. When Moreno's... I still don't know and how he's going to run off of and get his power armor and I, I mean, help us and stuff. But he's going to be... Basically, these guys are going to drop into the middle of the final battle, and there'll be some of the additional export, ex There's something escorts that we have. So he's going off to get his thing, and we have done his quest. So the last, the last of the important quests are done and we get Grim our power armor i appreciate you keep it'll take uh, so i keep guess we have to get away. maybe she acts like we're getting trained for her special power armor too nope we've got it remnants power armor look at that 28 versus 25 so it's just slightly better and so we are going to say goodbye to that armor because the new armor just that much better and that will be our power armor for here on out in which we will probably be fighting the final battle for new vegas meanwhile we're walking around in the u.s army general uniform because i think that's cool it fits my new 
authority as the soon-to-be ruler of all of New Vegas in my own right, not working for Mr. House. Like I said, I needed to go do something. So there's our kid Gannon Since in his been, cool new I'm a little rusty with it. power armor, which means we're ready. Bit of a marker. So we've got to get to got to get to the how do we put that thing in, but I think I can do this. I can go to Hoover Dam now. And we'll do the little special. You know it when you happen. That's where the, the president of the NCR flies in, and we do a little special mission to save him. I think that helps the NCR out in this final battle. I've heard of you. Well, you know, I've done the final battle a good number good. of times, but President the complete work. ins and outs of all this, you know, I'm not as much of an expert on. Because, of course, you don't get to the final battle as often. This. But here's Ranger Grant, and he wants us to go check everything, make sure everything's safe for the President's visit. Because, basically, there's going to be an assassination attempt, or several assassination attempts. So... They're going to booby trap a bunch of things, and then there's going to be a sniper. And hey. so, we go and we look. We're supposed to go look for clues. So here's the helipad. Hello. Have you finished uh, your security sweep? So I think sweep? we can just say, yeah, we've well, done the security no, sweep. There's actually stuff we could find. We could catch the suspicious engineer and stuff. But we're gonna go up here. Oh, here's a suspicious engineer. But now he doesn't. Basically, this is gonna land and the president's gonna get off, and then that guy is gonna go put a bad thing on the helicopter. The booby traps. There goes the president teleporting out of his little osprey looking thing. And they start up whatever their version of Hail the Chief is. There it is. And we will examine the Verde Bird. And we see the bomb and happen to notice the bomb and we happen to take it off because we've got enough skills. So now we can actually short circuit the rest of the speech rather than waiting for the guy to get shot. <laughs> and by the way, one thing you don't want to do is go down there on, even though he gave you full access, if you go onto the platform with the president, they will actually turn and attack you the NCR guys. I actually lost a permadeath character that way. I think it was the last permadeath character, the furthest one got before I finally finished this permadeath. Uh, but now we've just told, we've told the ranger about the bomb and so he's going to actually cut the speech off early and get him out here. And I don't know if there's really any advantage to, look at my awesome four-star general stars. It's going to make a good warlord of New Vegas outfit, isn't it? For toilet drinker, general drinker. <laughs> All right, so there goes the president. He's getting getting his rear end back to New California. And since we took the bomb off, he escaped safely. See, I think there's actually a sniper up there somewhere in that tower. But there's no sort of danger to the president. Necessarily see a need to get involved with the sniper. But I do want to get credit for this quest before I leave here. So make sure make sure he gets off safe.
goes. Nobody shot him down. Good job today. We got the president out safe and sound. I couldn't have done it. All right, we got credit. Give my thanks. All right, that is all taken care of. And I'm sure that gives us some advantage in the final battle. Or it's just a thing we can do. So now we got to do wildcard finishing touches, and that involves installing the thing in El Dorado Lake facility. And I need to find a safe place to fast travel to, because now we're getting very near. Look at my cool power armor with a fan on the back. We're getting very near, very near to Legion Scary Death Squad territory. All right, so we're sneaking in our cool, new, even better power armor. And we've got to get down to that power station. And the actual thing of installing the thing... Whoa. That was guys running toward me. I think that is actually... I think that is a Legion Death Squad. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Spotted you assholes. All right, that's good in caution, but I think think as long as I don't get near them, they're not going to find me. They're all wondering what they're doing. I think they've lost it. They, they like get dispatched right to my location. They were running toward me, but then I think they lost They lost the clue. All right, so we got past that death squad. See, I think once I get hidden to them again, they won't, like, they're not going to, like, re-task right onto me, but then they'll... You know, at some point, another one is going to spawn, and another one, another one, and there, there will be no end. There will be no end to the number of those things spawn, and they are just ridiculously powerful and, and awful. Uh, and, of course, the fact that they come running right to you as if they know exactly where you are means that they, uh, you know, they could come right over hill and suddenly shoot you in the face with something. So that was good. We spotted them, and we are... Back on our way in stealth boy mode to the power station. And it's funny, all I have to do here is go in there and install the little control chippy thing. And these guys are going to like go out of their way to tell me it's forbidden. But look, I'm here in a stealth boy. You know, I think they would aggro on me if they caught me doing it. Uh, but that is the only challenging aspect whatsoever. Let's let them... They want Stay to. Out there of the we go. Room and so he tells me the warning, and then I well, caution him. Shit! Holy crap! Did those guys follow me? Those Legion guys? Well, that, that's the Legion guys. I'm glad there's NCR guys. I'm gonna get in here and do my thing quick while they fight. Ah, right, that that really uh, that is surprising. I was not. I, I thought those death squads once you lost them didn't reactivate well they're not fighting anymore still in stealth boy I think I'm gonna fast travel while I'm in while I'm in hidden before anybody finds me all right and I think I think we have done all the done all the prerequisites and we are ready to start the final battle. And this would be when I would normally go around to vendors and do a whole bunch of getting all the most explosive ammo and stuff. But I'm not going to do anything remotely like that while Legion Death Squads are afoot. We are just going to get our act. Get our act together. Talk to our friend. This man, he's in the penthouse, right? Well, let's go to the let's go to our spot and attend to our own bodily needs one last time. So we sleep in our bed. Drink from one final toilet. Autonomous task. Say goodbye to all our companions. And then we go to the penthouse. I think this might be the moment of no return. There's Yes Man. 
tell him we've done the President thing. President Kimball survived his visit to Hoover Dam. Don't you love seeing exciting news? The Legion's massing troops in a staging area east of the dam. Attack We're going to have the second battle Once Hoover Dam. Ready to roll. Great. So I've been looking over Mr. House. It turns out there are two ways we can win this thing. Hear that? So we have options. Options. You could route the dam's power output to the facility under Fortification Hill. That'll restart its reactor, just like you did with the Lucky 38. That'll wake up the Securitron army you left on standby and give us enough force to push the Legion and the NCR straight out and That's of what the we wall. want to do. We want to push them the all out. The is destroy the dam's generator. You don't have to decide. I think I want to I want to own good. a powered Vegas. So that's good. All right, there it is, the final commitment to do the final battle. And so this is where I'm going to stop because next episode we are going to do this whole thing to the final end, win or lose. We'll see you next time when you only live once.